M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here on the STS200E that comes with a micro USB connection for serial connection or accessing your SD card. So if I unplug the, the adapter I've got, you'll see that I'm using USB-C. So there's your normal micro USB. I'll show you my adapter and you can get these adapters for a few pounds. I've got quite a few of these lying around. It's like five for four pound. So USB-C at one end and then micro USB at the other end. You just plug it in there like so. And then plug in your a, a good USB-C cable and then you'll get the usual message E or you can click no. If you click no, it turns it into a serial port and you can connect it to software. For reading and writing the software, just push the E, that's fine. But if you want the virtual screen, push the, the dot for no. And at the other end, it just plugs into my PC adapter. So if I press no, just press the no here, just underneath number seven. Now it's connected, but we're connected and we have a serial port. So we have a number on our PC. If we go to device manager, so we'll go right click, device manager, go up to ports and you'll see we've got port 19 showing there. So when you're running software like this is the ARC536 Pro model, so you get the virtual screen, you just at the top here, you have to just select number 19, but I've already selected that, so it's connected. And now you've got all these different modes, look, scan mode, custom search, close call, these different selections, because we're connected, we can click scan, squelch, system, department, channel, and it completely controls the device, you know, the STS 200 and 100, you get a very similar screen actually. Avoid, replay, scan, search, menu, zip, you can put in a zip if you like, service search, so it's all there, and it keeps a, a, a log of what it's receiving as well, which is quite nice. Now to just read your SD card, unplug and then plug it back in. Go back to the rate to the scanner. This time press E. Okay. When you press E, it becomes USB mass storage. So now in this window we can we can read the device. Let's go to BCD36, read. We get this window and then just tell it to read. It, I mean it automatically sort of does it anyway. But uh, we'll click read all favorites and everything will populate. Nice long list there.